AccuFlow Series 1000 and Series 2000 models with plastic diaphragm heads have the same internal seat designs inside the diaphragm heads. The difference being that the Series 2000s have larger seats than those on the Series 1000. Due to the O-rings that are on these seats, removal from the diaphragm head can be tricky. The valve seats can be replaced without having to remove the diaphragm head from the pump or draining the oil and only requires minimal necessary tools. Compressed air with about 30 to 40 psi in the tank and a blowgun attached to the air hose. A pair of channel lock pliers for removing the valve cap. A hook pick for removing the o-ring. For the Series 1000, one half inch hose adapter with 3 quarter inch MNPT and one half inch hose adapter with half inch MNPT. For the Series 2000, one half inch hose adapter with one inch MNPT, one half inch hose adapter with three quarter inch MNPT. In this video, we will be working on a Series 1000 pump. The first step is to ensure that the chemical inside the pump has been thoroughly flushed with a neutralizing liquid for your own safety. After the pump has been completely flushed with neutralizing liquid, remove the inlet and outlet piping to the pump. Remove the discharge valve cap from the diaphragm head. Install the hose adapter on the inlet side of the diaphragm head. The idea is to introduce sufficient air pressure into the inlet side of the pump just to lift the discharge check valve seat from its pocket. Put the compressed air blowgun into the hose adapter and with your left index finger, press firmly on the ceramic ball. Gently introduce the compressed air into the adapter and watch the check valve seat lift from its pocket. Make sure you do not lose the ceramic ball in this process. To remove the suction or inlet valve seat, remove the valve cap from the suction side of the diaphragm head. Replace the discharge side valve cap and install the appropriate hose adapter on the discharge side of the diaphragm head. Cover the whole of the valve cap of the suction side of the head with the palm of your hand and gently introduce the compressed air on the hose adapter sufficient enough to unseat the check valve seat and the ceramic ball in its pocket. Again, be careful not to lose the ceramic ball. Each valve seat should already have the O-ring installed by AccuFlow at the time the service kit was ordered and shipped. To install the new valve seat on the suction or inlet side of the diaphragm head, align the valve cap with the diaphragm head and place the seat on top and place the ceramic ball on the seat. Slowly insert the valve cap with the ball and set it into the diaphragm pocket. Screw in the valve cap carefully, making sure that the thread is straight to avoid this from stripping and tighten until the head of the valve cap makes contact with the diaphragm head surface. To install the discharge valve seat, drop the seat into the pocket and check to make sure that it is sitting flat inside the pocket. Carefully place the ceramic ball in the valve seat hole. Put in the valve cap, making sure that the ball is centered inside it, then slowly screw the cap in. This will push the valve seat deeper into the pocket inside the diaphragm head. Tighten the valve cap until the valve cap head makes contact with the surface of the diaphragm head. After all plumbing has been reinstalled, open all valves into the pump and check for leaks around the valve caps. Tighten if necessary.